All right, so now we're going to go over the Pauline edit command. So in order to edit something, I need a polyline to begin with. So I'm going to kind of draw in something here. And so to get into Pauline, I'm going to go to Modify and P edits right there. I pick that and grab my polyline. I get a few options here. So I can close it, which will just connect the ends. I can open it to take off that little line they got. Um, put in when I did that I have join so if I have an extra line that's kind of I actually I'm like oh I want to have another line here so that's not part of that one I go in to apply and edit pick this one join and then pick that one and hit enter and now it becomes part of that pie line I can also have just some regular old regular lines and if I go into polyline edit and pick on it, I can say, it'll say it's not a P line. Do I want to turn it into one? Yes. Now I can tell it join, pick all those lines, hit enter, and then it is now a polyline. So if I look at it, it is a polyline. Um, so I can convert it like that. Or I can also quickly do this join command grab those, hit enter, and it automatically turns them into a polyline and joins them all together. Uh, so a little faster that they've been added later on. You can also go into it and uh, we can edit for Texas. And so if I hit this, it'll kind of take a minute. So I can say next, next, and then I can either break it or I can insert. So I can insert, pick a new point, and you can see the new point kind of came after this one. Um, so I can just say move and I'll just move it over there. Um, I can make that tangent one. Oh, it's on the, if we were, if we had a spline going, let's just go back. Um, main options here we use, usually use are to break it or insert. So if I break it there, go, so I exit. I can see it did break it into two different lines. So the main options we use in the pedit command is to close, join, um, editing the vertex and, and in that we usually just insert or break maybe move, um, but we can also move just by grabbing the grips. So it doesn't really make sense to go in, in here for that. We can also do these options for doing the spline and a fit curve. Uh, so let's take a look at those. And so I'm gonna take a line. Uh, forgot to make that into a P line. So I'm just gonna join those together, P line. And so, Another easy way is just right click polyline, you get to the same thing. So if I go to edit polyline, now it goes in the commands and I can go to the edit vertex if I wanted to. Uh, and now I can hit the, all the other options or I could have just hit those from the right click menu. And so if I do a curve fit, it's gonna go through and actually go through all those corners. So let me just copy that right on top of itself so that you can see what happens. So I right click on it, curve fit. It's going to make that into a, a curve that goes through the corners of the pie line. If I turn it into a spline fit, it's going to go through kind of a best fit curve, kind of doing the, the smoothest curve it can um, based on those points. And you can see the, the grips are still out there on those points. So those are a couple options we have. Uh, if you wanted to make a, a kind of a closed shape, um, there's some things to watch out for here. So let me go to pie line. So I'm gonna here, I'm gonna type C for close on this one. Actually, I actually wanna bring this point kind of up here a little bit somewhere. I don't know, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Let me pull this up here a little bit. All right, there you, go. there you go. So I have this thing here. I use the close option here. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna set it down back on top of itself. 
and I'm going to put one of them up here. All right, so this one that's on top, I'm going to change it to be green. And I'm also going to draw a new one here that's going to be red. So make it red, polyline. I'm going to hit the same exact points. But I'm not going to close it. I'm actually just going to go back and click on it. So you can see the difference. So if I take this one and I tell it to be a curve fit, and I take this one and tell it to be a curve fit, uh, you can see a difference here. So this one, it's a continuous smooth curve all the way, all the way around. On this one, kind of the starting and stopping point. It's a, it's a stop, it's a, a sharp thing because that's where they're just starting stopping. It's not trying to be smooth through that point. Um, same thing that will show up when we do the spline fit. You can see that? So that, that point that we started on, the, the curve is still going to because that's where it has to start and stop. On a closed one, it can readjust the whole shape to fit uh, within the curves. So we have that option there. Um, if we're trying to do the, um, the so that's that's it on the curves, um, but if we're trying to go in and edit that polyline, so let's grab this one, and we want to use this width option here. This is going to change it to be the same width for all segments. You can see that there, so if I say to be you know, 0.1, so you can see it. It's changing it for all the segments. I can't change it just one segment at a time. Uh, even if I go into here, I can change. Now that I'm at each segment, I can, now I can change the width of that point. So now I can, for as it goes around, I can tell it to start at zero and end at 0.3. So now it goes up. So now I go to my next point. So I can kind of go around by using the next option. And so let's say I want it right here. I want it to start out thick, go thin, and I come back to be thick. So I want to go previous. And I can just say width until 3.3, end at zero. Go to next, width. Now, now I can start at zero and end at 0.3. And then I can exit. X for exit, escape to get out of it. And now you can see it's doing that, that difference. So if we want to change individual segments, you have to go into the into the edit uh, edit option or the the edit vertex option. So edit vertex, and then you can get in and start changing individual widths uh, for each segment. So uh, we have that. If we have this one also, we could, we could just see if closing this will, will fix it. So if I go into polyline and I tell it to close, see it just it does a little circle there because it still had all the segments, so it just it had that. It's not you know to, to to join those two with the closed segment. So just you know to close it after the fact isn't going to do it for us. Um, one other thing is that if we want to do any 3D, so we want to use some of the 3D commands that um, we're not going to get into in this class. You do need to have a closed polyline in order for it to make a, a solid model. So keep that in mind um, once you get there. Um, so that is basically the p edit command. Um, and so let me know if you have any questions.